Hello, this is Ryan from Unitronics, and I'm here today to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Version Swapper. We are constantly improving our VisiLogic software with new features and updates, but if you have an old program that you do not want to upgrade to the latest version, you can use Version Swapper. Most of you probably already have Version Swapper installed, as it is included in the normal VisiLogic installation. To use a particular version of VisiLogic, you will first need to download the corresponding swapper file. A swapper file contains all the data needed to run VisiLogic while reducing the file size by excluding extras like example projects and extra documentation. You can download swapper files direct from our website, www.unitronics.com downloads. The swapper will come in a .zip file format and should be extracted to the default Unitronics directory, C Program Files Unitronics. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. So here is the version swapper. Up at the top here we see our default Unitronics directory. Again that's C program files Unitronics. If you extracted the swapper file into a different directory you could just change the path here. and the window will update with the new directory. These are all the swapper files that I currently have installed on my computer. If I was missing one, I could simply get it from our website. We provide an easy link right inside the swapper itself. Just click the link, and it goes right to our downloads page for the swapper. If you need the full installation uh, without the swapper, we provide those as well under previous versions. Once you have selected the version you are looking for and extracted it into the program files Unitronics directory, you can now use the version swapper. Simply select the version you want to swap to. and hit register. We have a checkbox here that will automatically open up the new version of VisiLogic as soon as the swap is complete. Now that the registration is complete, it asks me if I want to create a short, uh, shortcut on my desktop. Just by clicking yes, it will create a shortcut on my desktop, and now it opens up version 7. When you want to switch back to your most recent version of VisiLogic, simply open up the swapper again and select VisiLogic underscore C. The latest version of VisiLogic is always titled underscore C. When a new version of VisiLogic is released and you want to keep the version before it, you merely just need to rename the directory from VisiLogic underscore C to anything else. Probably, uh, most commonly we use VisiLogic and then the version number. And that about sums it up. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at support at unitronics.com, and thanks for watching.